In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how you can build an intranet with WordPress. Developing and tailor fitting an intranet for your business is quite costly and it requires a systems architect to come into your business and experience the day-to-day -day operations in order for him to design an actual flow in order for it to work virtually. Now with any other web application or systems that are existing these days, every basic system has its basic features. Now with WordPress, all these basic features of an intranet can be utilized by installing a couple of plugins that WordPress themselves have developed in order for it to work as an intranet. I'm going to list down three major plugins that you can use with WordPress to convert your WordPress into an intranet for your business. Now take note, this is the basic features. You could actually put advanced features into it that would cost you a bit of money, but still cheaper than actually tailor fitting an advanced intranet for your business. It is also important to understand that there is a prerequisite to using these plugins. That prerequisite is that you require to have a WordPress website in order for these plugins to work for your intranet. So the three plugins that I would recommend for you to install in order to create an intranet in WordPress is number one, BuddyPress. So BuddyPress is an actual plugin which you can create your own private little community. So imagine creating your own private Facebook. Okay, it only has the basic features of a social network, but you could have it function as your own social community. Now this helps a lot when you're building an intranet for your business within your website. The second plugin that I would recommend for you to install is BBPress. Have you ever heard of Reddit? Yes, you could actually have a forum installed within BuddyPress, within your WordPress website, and create the function in order for your users or your community to start creating topics and discussions about a particular topic or activity. The third plugin that I would suggest in order for you to build an intranet within WordPress is any plugin that could protect and secure content based on your user level. So those are the three main plugins you could actually install in order to build your intranet. There's a lot more features that you can install for WordPress itself, but to get you started, start with this first three. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe to get the latest video and updates every week. If you got any questions about websites, make sure you hit me up on all major social medias at Philip Suriano.